You're a struggling trader, you're failing to find consistency, you can't make any profits in the stock market, you keep losing, and you're just struggling and getting very frustrated. I recommend having an open mind, listening to what I'm going to explain in this video, because everybody that listens to this advice, as simple as it is, starts seeing success in their trading. They start seeing light at the end of the tunnel, and everybody has what it takes to be a good trader, but it's just simple tweaks that can make such a large difference in struggling to actually becoming profitable. All I ask is everybody watching this to follow me on my Instagram, at Investitrade. I'm going to post a link in the description below. I definitely recommend it. I want you all to keep me updated on your progress with what I'm going to go over in this video because I guarantee and I'm confident that it's going to change your trading if you listen to this advice and you implement it on a daily basis. It's as simple as reducing our position size. As simple as common sense as that is, if you reduce your position size, I'm going to show you case studies of someone who is struggling and how they started becoming profitable. And I'm also going to show you somebody who didn't listen to the advice and blew up their account or took a large loss because they got cocky and increased their size. Trading is probably the only thing in life that having reduced size is a better thing. And I can't stress how important it is, is to lower your position size, especially if you do not have an edge and you are a beginner trader failing to make consistent profits. If you reduce your size, it will lead in the long run to more profits. Believe me. Now, why we do this is become we become less emotionally attached to the outcome. We don't care so much about our profit and loss while we are developing our edge. We can afford to lose. A lot of traders, they're beginner traders. They compare themselves to somebody in the community, flashing Lambos, six-figure profits, and they try to compare and compete with them, and they try to size up, get large winning trades, and in the result of this, they take large losing trades and they cannot afford to lose anymore. When you reduce your size, you can afford to lose more often. And in trading, you want to position yourself that you can lose more than you win, yet still be profitable and still make money. Consistent wins add up, whereas a few large losses don't. It's more impressive to me, and I'm going to show you case studies and actual examples on the charts of exactly what I'm talking about. But it's more impressive to me if you can make, let's just say consistently, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 1,000 bucks a day consistently with small losses, $200 losses, $300 losses relative to our wins than it is to make $10,000 today and maybe lose $9,000 tomorrow. It's more impressive if you can build consistent wins and small losses and reducing our size does this because you're going to be more focused on the chart and less focused on the outcome. You're gonna be more fo focused on what the market presents you, and you're gonna be less focused on what you perceive the market doing to you. When we increase our size, we think the market's after us. We become process-oriented and not profit-oriented. I am a big believer, and everybody in my community can say this for me, is I stress the process over profits. Profits will come if you focus on the process. Trading is the most scalable business. If you can prove to me that you're consistent for a month, two months, three months with small size, in order to make more money, we follow that same process. But instead of trading better or hitting home runs, all we have to do is increase our position size trading the same way. And that is how we make more profits once we can prove we are consistent and we are profitable with the reduced size. I had this trader reach out to me. He's been going at it for a year and a half. The past two to three months, size down, found consistency, and built a strategy. When you're developing your edge, it's imperative to use small size so you can afford losing trades and build an edge and build a strategy that works for you. Again, trading is very scalable. He had a 72% win rate on trades and 80% of his days he was taking two, to two and a half risk to reward ratios. Excellent win rate. You don't need that high of a win rate to be profitable or to be successful. Then the past week, he decided to size up and he didn't look at his PL following the same system. However, he has not won a trade yet. He gave back all of his gains in the matter of a week or two. Imagine giving back two to three month worth of gains in a week or two. If he takes a $500 trade on a $20,000 account, it's a 50% winner every time. But if he sizes to a thousand or two thousand bucks, he literally has not had a single play work out. 
following the same process, buying and selling the same way he would on a $500 account, making money, he's following the same thing on a $2,000 account, but he can't win. Why is that? Well, I said a 72% win rate is amazing, but it's his emotions. His emotions, it's not the setups that aren't working. It's his emotions which aren't working. Sizing back down will help. I've seen many size up and lose following the same process. And when they size down for a few more weeks, they find the same success again. Guess what this trader did? Simple as sizing back down and it's worked. We'll try sizing up from 500 to 600. The course has done wonders and he's made $1,100 the past week trading on $500 position sizes. All it is is consistency. Small wins, small base hits add up. Reduce your size. Do not be like this trader. And it took him 10 days of trading following the same process with reduced size. In 10 days, he was able to turn $500 position sizes into a $1,000, $1,100 winner following the same process. It is as simple as reducing your size. When we have too much size, we trade very, very emotionally. Everybody watching this, I'm sure at some point you could agree with me on your trading journey. I can the same. A large position size, we become attached to the outcome. Our brain plays defense and it avoids what I call mental pain. So let's look at trader number one. He's got a $25,000 account and he trades with all $25,000 per trade, full account size positions, and he does not implement proper risk management. So now trader one reads my pre-market plan. We were looking to take the market long out of 3709 demand for a very quick scalp targeting 3740. This was my pre-market plan. Post these every single day in my Discord, setups I'm watching, levels I'm looking out for. So trader one, $25,000 account, is looking to get the long the market right here off of this 3709 demand zone. Trader one trades options, sees the market come out of demand, and he gets long spy calls when the S&P 500 futures chart looks just like this. At this point, spy calls were at $2.20 when he got long when the S&P 500 looked like this. So now we're in long $2.20. Let's just say we bought 100 contracts. It cost us about $22,000 at our $25,000 account. What happens on the S&P next is we start pulling back about 10 or so points off of this level where we got in at. Now, a emotionally attached trader to the outcome is going to see this pullback on the S&P 500. His stop loss is low a day, right? Stop loss is down here. He only wants to sell when a stop loss triggers. But because he's in with $22,000, his full account basically, he sees the market pull back, he freaks out, he looks at his P&L, and now the contracts where he got in at $2.20 are down to $1.50 in five minutes. Now in five minutes, he's down 33% of his account he just lost in five minutes. From $22,000, to $15,000, he stops out of this position, looks at his P&L, and gets out because he just realized he lost 7,000 bucks in five minutes because he is trading with too much size. We don't even have to use $22,000. Let's just say we use $2,000 in our account, right? We see the market pull back. Our $2,000 is now $1,500. We're down 700 bucks in five minutes. Yes, of course we're gonna be emotional, of course we're gonna freak out. We don't want to lose more, so we exit out of this trade because we cannot feel that mental pain and we're too emotionally attached to the chart. We have to accept this loss even though our stop loss never triggers and guess what happens? The market reverses, we completely shoot up and we hit our resistance target perfect to the pre-market plan and our contracts could have just went up and we could have just made 70% in 20 minutes if we did not exit that trade and we did not trade with reduced size. Now, if you're building an edge, you don't have confidence, you're trying to find consistency, size down so you can afford this pullback. If you are in with normal size, maybe 5% of your account, 10% of your account, whatever it may be, according to your risk parameters, this pullback would not have gotten you out of this trade because your stop loss never triggered. The market is not gonna move in your favor all at once. You're not gonna go straight up or straight down. There's gonna be roadblocks, there's gonna be pullbacks, there's gonna be consolidations. What you have to do is implement risk management. It's very difficult to implement this type of risk management 
if we are trading with too large of a size because our brain plays these tricks, it tries to avoid discomfort. Our brain plays this defense and helps us avoid this mental pain by letting us get out of this trade even though our analysis is correct. Also, when we size up, we cannot accept losses and we make a small loss. At one point, it was a smaller loss. Now it turns into a larger loss because we could not accept the loss. We just worked 40 hours last week at our job. We made X amount and we took one trade and in five minutes, we just lost the amount of money that we just made last week working 40 hours at our normal job. We can't accept that loss and our brain tries to protect us and say, okay, maybe if I hold for another minute or two minutes, it's going to reverse and we're going to go up. And we never do that and a small loss turns into a larger loss because you cannot accept the loss. Would you rather accept a $100 loss where your analysis was incorrect? Or would you rather hold on to that trade, expect it to go up, it never goes up, and now that $100 loss turns into a $500 loss, and we only have a $2,000 account? That $500 loss is going to bring so much damage, not only to our account, but also to our mental game for the next trades that we're gonna take in the future. It's going to mess us up. It's an opportunity cost for trades we're gonna take in the future. An example of this, Netflix. Let's just say we were looking to take the market long off of this demand zone. We get in over here and our stop loss is down here below this low. We're up 100 bucks, 150 bucks. We're happy, we think the thing is gonna rip up. And then all of a sudden we start moving lower, we start moving lower, our stop loss triggers. But guess what? Uh, this thing still looks good. We're still going to reverse. I'm holding on to this. It's only a $100 loss. It's not a big deal. I think we're going to go up. Keyword there. I think, right? We're going to rally from this area. I'm going to go up. And $100 loss, it's going to turn into a $2,000 winner because I expect this to rally today. Guess what happens? Temporary gratification. Boom. End of day. Our $100 loss that we could have accepted right here now just turned into a $1,000 loss. We have a $2,000 account. We just lost 50% of our account on one single trade. If you size down, you're going to be able to accept a smaller loss when you see them because a smaller loss is not going to affect your mental game. Sizing down helps these problems and it helps you focus on the chart, get out when you need to, focus on the process, wait for a better setup, afford to lose by making sure your losers are small, and building consistent wins when we are correct. This is where the mind plays tricks on traders. How many of you have went on a green streak, maybe a week, two weeks, you make 2,000 bucks, and then you take your next trade, you size up, you think you're the man, you think you're the best trader, your ego is so cocky, and then next trade wipes away 75% or maybe even all your gains. That's possible in trading, and that's what happens when you size up, when you really don't have a full edge or you really haven't built consistency for two, three, four months. This calendar right here, this trader was making consistent 400, 600, you know, 500, decent gains, solid gains, excellent gains. Then he took one trade where he sized up, lost $3,300 in one day, in one trade, and wiped away two weeks of gains off of one single Tree. Here's another trader. I work with this guy often. Very, very talented, very good trader. Knows what he's doing, knows how to trade. 96 bucks, 233 bucks, 30 bucks, you know, 130 bucks, 158 bucks. Then he's got one losing trade, $633. If your journal is like a rocky road like this with not consistent wins compared to your losses, and you have a one large loss, two large losses, you're never, ever going to be consistent. One losing trade two losing trades, three losing trades should not wipe out a large portion of your gains. This trader's profits got wiped out with one single trade, completely destroyed his month profits off of one single setup. I told him, man, I'm telling you, it's all in your head. You can't have this to be successful. You know what you need to do. You're talented and you could make money, but you cannot let one day wipe away all your progress. He goes, he knows I'm right. He knows what it takes to be profitable. He doesn't understand what happens. He has a plan. He sees opportunities and then it goes against him. He hates admitting he is wrong and letting go for a small loser. That's key right there. You must accept small losers before they become large losing trades. Then he kept averaging down because he couldn't accept the loss 
And now you're just adding more gasoline to a already existing fire. And soon enough, the house is going to burn down. He knows exactly what he's doing. If he looks at his tags, he's lost 18,000 bucks because he started good size and then he added oversize. So he added more size because he thought the market was going to reverse and move in his favor. He kept adding, adding, adding. That's an ego problem. That's an emotional problem. And you're adding to your size and you're just adding more gas to the fire. And eventually you're going to blow up and it's not going to be well. Take this trader's lessons, take his losses and build upon it. So you do not make the same mistakes. He didn't stop out 14,000 bucks oversized 11,000 bucks all have to do with your position size and your emotions because of your ego and the size of the extent of the trade you're looking to enter. And I recommend everybody to pause the video and read what I'm going to put on the screen right here that I posted in my discord trade with small size. I don't care if you have 10,000, a hundred thousand, a million dollars in your account. If you don't have an edge or you aren't consistent, you must trade with small size, one to three contracts. You learn via trial and error and you learn from your losing trades while journaling and collecting data. This is the only shortcut to developing your edge. Reduce your size, develop your system. And then step two is once you develop your edge, you build your system, you learn your emotions, then you could scale up once you are consistent for a certain amount of time. Everybody tries to go from zero to 100 in this game. It just results in failure. The faster you come into the market, the quicker you're going to leave it. So I'm going to end the video on that note. If you enjoyed it, you learned something, drop a like. I recommend implementing what I explained in this video. Comment if you have any questions, hit that subscribe button, and also check out the links in the description below. Some very good resources down there, but I'm ending it. Peace out.